Hi everyone, we're going to rebuild this navigation at the top. We're gonna to use the uh, built-in component from Webflow to make it super easy. We're gonna style it to how we want, and it's gonna do the nice thing when we go down to mobile, it's gonna to change to this burger menu, okay, with a drop down without us doing anything. All right, let's go and make it in Webflow. Is he ignoring how bad it looks on mobile? I totally am, we'll get to that, we will. Okay, what do we do with this old one? We could select our section nav, okay, and we could say actually, it gives me an excuse to show you this. We've looked at display block and inline. Okay, look at this one, it says none. Okay, you can click on it and say none, and it goes away. It's still there in the code, okay, just the browser can't see it anymore, ever. So it's not a real point of having it. Okay, to turn it back on, what you really wanna do is click on that or that, it doesn't work. You gotta go back to what display setting you want, okay, which is in our case block. So it pushes down his buddy underneath. All right, so I'm actually just gonna delete it. So select on section nav and go away. So I need a section, I can go to here and add my, where is it, my navigation, my nav bar, and it will actually be pretty much fine. If I add it above my, I'm trying to, above my section hero. Nope, I got it inside my section hero. Okay, uh, nav bar goes above section hero. It'll work just fine. It's better for this to be inside a section. Okay, not 100% essential, but the browser and the search engines wanna see your different sections, and it means we can navigate a lot easier. A lot easier is not a word, but have you seen those websites where there's an arrow that says go back to the top? Okay, you can click on the button and say go to what section? We could say the nav section. Cool, so let's put it inside of a section. So we're gonna add our section, U section, I'm gonna put it just above my nav bar, and then I'm gonna put my nav bar inside. There we go. Nothing has changed, except I've got this section, okay? And the section, I'm gonna call section nav. And you're like, hey, but we've already done that. And yeah, we just use section nav. We could, you know, if, you, if this is the first time you're doing it, you're gonna have to make it, but because we already made it, there you go, we've got this thing called section nav all ready to go. Do you notice section nav has a background color that's not doing anything? Why is it not doing anything? It's because the nav bar has its own color and it's overriding it because it's more specific or it's over the top of it, okay? It's actually gray in the background, but we can't see it because nav bar's on top. So we can select on nav bar and either go nav bar, you are completely transparent, this one here, so I can see through to my sections nav, or we're getting in the weeds here, aren't we? <laughs> ah, ah, we're learning. Uh, yeah, so, or we can just style the nav bar. There's no real difference here. Because I've already started, I'm gonna make my nav bar transparent and my section is gonna bring my color through, which is my dark gray. All right, let's have a look at what's special about this. The special thing is, there's two big special things. One, it's already done. I can put my logo in here, I've got some buttons all ready to go, okay? And that saves me time from adding buttons, floating at left, floating at right. And, but also when I get down to mobile version, oh look, there's already a, like a bit of JavaScript that switches that out and changes it. Let's have a look at preview. Watch this, I can click on it. Oh, all of that sort of stuff is done for us. Okay, the CSS actually switches that out for this little icon, and then some JavaScript does this lovely drop down. But it's all done. Okay, so I'm going to go back to desktop, and I'm going to go to my preview off. And let's have a little deconstruction. So we've got this first chunk, it's just called brand. All it is, is a container that they've called brand, Webflow, and they've made it linkable. So if I dump an image in here, you know, it will be one of those links that links back to the home page. Thank you very much, Webflow. What they've also done is they've got a bunch of buttons. Okay, so the button, button, button. And we know, how do they get them on the right hand side here? You're like, I know, hands up, you know. At the back, what was it? Float right. And you're like, great, so it's gonna say you are floating to, where is it, under position. There it is, float to the, huh? It's not doing any float, don't float. Why is it not floating, Dan? You, you promised us float would work. Okay, what they've done here is there's this container wrapping it all up. So these are my buttons, okay? And that's what I did it to. I applied the float to these buttons. What they've done is just to be cleverer is instead of doing it to all three of these, just, just do it once to the wrapper. Okay, we put this wrapper around the outside. Okay, and in this case, this is called, they've made it using this thing called a div block, which is like a generic wrapper, which we'll do ourselves in bits. But let's have a look, let's get back here. So they've got this generic thing, they've called it navbar, and they've said, you float to the right, look, and everything inside of it goes, all right, we'll float to the right too, I guess, because <laughs> we, we have no choice. The navbar goes flying to the right, dragging these guys inside along for the right. So there you go, pre-made, but we kind of understand how it's made a little bit. We can make new ones by copying them and pasting them, 
Nice. Okay, I don't need them. The last thing I want to show you is this brand chunk here. Okay, it's a container that has a link applied to it. Thank you very much, Webflow. And what is it doing? Let's hit the cog. Why isn't it working? Okay, it doesn't work because there's just so much that needs to come out of this. It would be massive. So what they do is, well, I, this is my assumption actually. It might be broken. <laughs> okay, but if you, it just see the cog here. I've got it selected. There's just so much that they've done for this menu that they, it's not really an easy drop down. So they've just done nothing. You got to click on the cog over here, and you can see there's my link settings. At the moment, it's linking to a URL. What I might do now, because it's my, I'm going to put my logo in there. I'm going to say go to a page. Which page? I've only got one page. Home. And that's good because when I duplicate this whole website to do different pages, it means that it's going to always, you know, whenever you click the logo, it's going to go back to the home page, which is pretty typical of websites. All right, I want a logo in there though. It's not particularly hard. We've already got a logo from earlier. Okay, whatever your one is. So my assets panel, click hold, drag it inside, check that it went inside. I'm going to adjust my size, which doesn't work when that's open some of the time. Okay, and there you go. So there's my little logo. I am now just gonna go start styling stuff. So that's it. If you wanna carry on, I'm gonna basically do what we did already, okay, in the last video. Um, so I'm gonna go through and push this around, add my logo text, add my buttons. That's why this video is so long, is a little bit of just doing stuff. If you've got nothing else to do or you can't reach the skip button, <laughs> you're gonna watch me style it. So let's do it together. So my image, I've got, oh, I'm gonna go back to my styles. Sometimes you're like, where's all that stuff gone? <gasps> there it is. Okay, I want to put some padding around it, but hopefully, remember I did image. I've already got a logo one from last time. Oh, saving time. Okay, same with these buttons. Okay, are these buttons though? They're not. Can I apply that style for them? Let's go button, our nav. We totally can. It didn't bring the color through but we didn't add the color last time. Awesome. Okay, so we can still reuse that button nav even though we deleted the last navigation. And that's an important point. Uh, if you create styles and never use them, they'll just hang out. We'll have to clean them up towards the end of the project, but they don't go away. They're persistent. So what do I want to do? I want this one to be green and kind of, actually I want the spacing to be taller, the padding to be taller. Both sides, how do you do both sides? At the same time. Yeah, that's right. Hold down the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC, something like that. I want my background color to be, not typography, background is going to be that kind of greeny color. You pick your own. All right, I want the button to be, the text to be white. That did not work, what I have selected. I had the body selected, that's not what I want. I want these button. That button nav here, I want the typography color to be white. Here we go. Okay, and is that kind of what I want? Let's have a look. I want it to be caps. We know we can do that. So typography under more type options, caps. There we go. And I want it to be also our not great vibes or impact. Impact is the comic sans of Webflow. Don't use it. <laughs> uh, you can use it. Uh, we're using, not Arial, we're using Open Sans, aren't we? Cool. Here we go. Okay, so now what I want to do is apply it to all of them. So you have got a style called Button Nav. You've got a style called Nothing. So let's go Button, But, and Nav, you two, Button Nav. There we go. Okay, I want to change the colors of these ones. It's going to require a combo class, which we'll do in a little bit. But let's just leave them for the moment. I'm not going to do the hover. I'm going to add the hero text over here. So we've done that before. You, when I say hero text, I mean logo text. So I'm going to use, remember, a text block. None of these other ones, because it's kind of generic text. And hopefully, where did it go? It is, where do I want it? Do I want it like, there's the brand, which has got this in it. Then inside of that brand linkable thing is got a uh, image. And then do I have it afterwards? Okay, which is kind of freaking out. Or do I put it after the image? I'm not sure. I'm just going to see what it looks like. Okay, so it's kind of in the brand. So it's in the box brand. You see there? But it's doing something a bit weird. How do we fix that? We're going to have a look at our position. So we're going to say the logo is not letting it play ball. Okay, or the text block okay, is not doing it. One or the other. Let's try the text block because I'm guessing and I'm pretty sure that under, where is it? Size, 
nope, we want display. Where is it? I'm gonna have to scroll up. There it is. Display. I don't want it to be inline block. I want it to be well, oh, I don't want it to be block, I want it to be inline block. Oh, there it is. Cool. Now we can style either the logo to have more padding on the side or this bit of text that says uh, dear, dear Kite Club. Kite Club. Um, I think we already did uh, style. It's created a style called text block, okay? And this is an interesting one because it created that for me because I wasn't, because I changed the display. So I said, all right, you didn't make a class, I'm making one for you. Now in the position where, in the last video, I actually made one. So I wanna apply that to it, but I wanna get rid of this. What do I do? Okay, I wanna remove this class, okay? Because I don't want two of them, okay? I want the one that I already made called, what was it called? It's called text logo. And we already did it with the inline block, didn't we? So we deleted the automatic one and kind of went back a step found the one we want, and it's done everything we need. Happy days. Cool, all right, beautiful-ish. It's getting close. I wanna grab this one and play around with the margin. Zoop. Top, be the top and the bottom the same. All right, so that is it. It's good enough for the moment. Um, yeah, it's coming along. We added navigation. We were learning terms. We're becoming more web designery. You know terms like display block, inline block, Floating, oh, we're fancy. All right, fancy, let's go to the next video. That, my friend, is the end of the video, uh, but not the end of the course, uh, the video you just watched. Um, it is a small part of my larger course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay, and come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.